All right, guys. We are going to go through the basic recurve starters for kids and new shooters. Like, how do you get started in bare bow for a kid that's seven years old, a kid that's 12 years old, and a, you know, maybe a, a young adult shooter, 17, 18, you know, whatever. So we're going to go over those things today and just look at, honestly, we're going to look at the Mike's Star Archery website. I'm going to go back to um, taking a look at what they have and where you are able to order these things and get what you need just to get started. Here we go. Share screen, next directory supply. Boom. All right. Sweet. So we're actually not going to start on this page. We're going to start on this page. So as you guys know, I coach a lot of youth archery and involved in that side of things a lot. And, you know, there's, there's a plethora of these, these small takedown wooden riser options out there. You know, they come in different sizes. And actually, I shouldn't even start in this one. I should start here in the 48. Now, this bow can be a little bit tricky because the window on this is not very big, but you notice it has the hole for a burger button. Um, so whatever plunger you, you, you choose to use, you know, you can get this the inexpensive cartel, you can get whatever. And I'll be doing a video later on about that. Um, but it has that option and you can get the limbs for these bows as low as like 10 to 15 pounds. So for pretty much any youth shooter, <coughs> excuse me, you are able to get. Now you can see right now this 48 inch is out of stock, just like everything else in the world. You know, but keep an eye on, excuse me, you keep an eye on, you know, like a Sarachi's website because as these come become available, you know, they don't last long and you can still order these products with Lancaster as long as you don't, I mean, $44 for a riser, it's, it's next to nothing. To get a kid into archery, you can you can start with just this. So um, for a 48 inch bow, I'll be honest with you, I think you are looking at um, a shooter that's, you know, max 10 years old, typically, um, if they're a small frame shooter, if they're a, 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 a shorter um, shooter, you know, max, I'm going to say like 19 inch draw, something like that, um, you know, you can get away with using this 48 inch riser for sure for quite a while. Now, remember that most kids with, with solid coaching, their skills going to outgrow the bow first. Now I'll show you, like I have a youth shooter. She started with this. She's a short, on the shorter side. She started competing with this, this exact bow. Um, it might've been the PSE version or a SAMIC version, but they're essentially, they do the same thing. Um, and I'll show you what she ultimately ended up going to. You know, is the bow a little bit longer than what typically you would use maybe an Olympic recurve or something like that? Um, maybe but I think you can get away with it. So we'll talk about that. But anyway, so your younger um, competitors, kids getting into archery, this is a great option, especially for those small frame youth shooters. Um, next, we're gonna go with the 54 inch. Same bow, a little bit longer riser, um, you know, again, out of stock, unfortunately, but you can still order this. Shows here, riser length, 19 and a half inches. Um, same bow, you have access to the limbs and you can get those limbs in um, a multitude of, of weights. I, let's, listen, don't go crazy with weight. Keep it low, 15, 20 pounds, 25 pounds max. Um, when they're first getting started, whatever you can get that's somewhere between like 18 and 25, usually you're good to go. Those kids can get through it. It's just easier to teach them. And I don't know why that just happened. Um, it's just easier to teach them with archery. Um, when that, they have more control, it's easier for them to shoot. 
you know, just don't go crazy with weight. You don't need it. You simply just don't need that weight for a kid. They're shooting a small, like 0.166 or smaller arrows. So you just, you know, there's no need to go heavy on the, on the weight, on the limbs. If you can't get the limbs, and get a different setup um but that bullseye comes in in multiple lengths including the 62 and including a 66 so that covers the bullseye um and what they're doing if you're getting to that point of a 66 inch bow there's a couple of options now psc makes a good option i didn't record it i didn't include it in here only because it's like comes in like a package deal it's the same price as this galaxy meteor um and but it's a wooden riser similar to what the bullseye is so you're kind of getting the same thing uh, except it's in like i said it's a package detail it's a nice little little setup i'm not gonna lie but uh, this is a good this is a good um it's not like if we had to take this beginner equipment and we needed to set them from like high-end beginner to middle to low the galaxy bullseye and the other items those were definitely like your your beginner starter sets like borderline toys sort of um in regards to a middle of the road or just below middle of the road this galaxy meteor is a really good option you know what stinks about the meteor is that it's not an ILF and what ILF means is international limb fit. A lot of you um, that watch this that are familiar with bare bow and one degree curve and stuff are already going to know what that is, but this is not really for you unless you're just getting started with coaching. This is really for, this is more for like the new coaches who are like, I don't know where to start with bare bow. Um, I'm just giving you some options. I'm going to tell you, this is a, this is it. This is the list. I'm just telling you, Here's some options. So um, this Galaxy Meteor is a pretty cool little setup. It basically looks like an Olympic recurve, comes with a sight. You have all of the options. Let me move to a different view here. You have the options of, you have the burger hole. It's basically in a full setup. You can add a bearable weight if you want to, um, which you can do with the Galaxy Bullseye as well. But it just, it's you, you have multiple limb um, deflections and everything else or weight limits, I should say. So this right now has the 25 pound limbs. The others are out of stock. So at least you can get this. I wouldn't be getting 25 pound limbs for like a seven, eight or nine year old. I mean, can a 10, maybe a nine year old, a big nine year old, nine, 10, 11, they could probably handle that. Um, it really varies on the shooter, um, you know, their kinetic awareness, their, their form, um, their strength, you know, are they a kid that's been a swimmer their entire childhood or did gymnastics or is a kid that sat in front of the TV and played electronics? You know, there's a difference there. That's, that's all I can say. Like some kids, they can hack it right away and some kids can't. And you as a coach need to make that definitive decision um, on what you can do, what you can't do. So I uh, love this bow. Um, gotten this for a few kids. It works well. It does the job and it's inexpensive. Once again, in today's world, we got to find ways to get into this sport without breaking the bank. And this is an option. You're not going to shoot rec national records with this equipment. Again, you know, explaining to you, if you have a kid for a couple more bucks, you can get a much better piece of equipment, but this is a good low end low to middle end option for you to get your bare bow shooter or even an Olympic recurve shooter into the sport. That's what this is. All right. So moving on, we start to get into risers and ILF now, and we start to see the, the difference between the two. I have two that I am definitely a fan favorite of. There's some others out there and we'll take a look at those before this is over, before we dive in, before I do the next, like the middle of the road um, stuff. But let me first say that when you're buying a, a, a riser set, a youth shooter, typically between like that age of nine and 12, doesn't necessarily need to have a 25 inch riser. Personally, I'd probably stay away from a 25 inch riser. Just depends on how big the shooter is and what they can handle. Um, you know, the, the specs for what Olympic recurve lengths and draw lengths um, 
recommend works for Olympic recurve. Barebow, you can probably get away with a little bit longer because we don't have that big crazy follow through and all that other stuff. There's a little bit more forgiveness with a longer bow and and whatnot. So and, you know, I can show you the shooters to prove it. So it's not. It's it's just you just have to you have to make the best best decision for what works with that shooter and also availability of product right now because this crazy world of COVID we live in, you just don't know what you're going to have. So um, the Galaxy Crescent, great option, comes in right and left hand, obviously right hand's all out of stock, but it comes in a plethora of colors and all kinds of stuff. It's an ILF, there's adjustment to it. It has your typical clicker um, attachment, so it can be used for Olympic or bare bow. It has both burger buttons. It's got everything that you need um, for only 79 bucks. It does, again, it does the job is this, this is like middle of the road, low end equipment. That's what this is. Um, you know, this is, this is, you can, you can shoot decent scores with it. Will you break a national record with it? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to go on the side of if somebody's at that point where they're shooting good enough scores, they're going to, they're, that's when they're starting to get so consistent that they'll start to see an improvement by getting better equipment. Um, you know, spend that money on coaching and getting help first before you go out and just buy, you know, a Hoyt Exceed because you're um, you're one of those people and you just want to own top of the line. I mean, you can do that. You, you, you can do that. But I would I think that money is better spent on getting good quality coaching, whether whoever that may be from, um, you know, and that's a whole that's a whole other topic. But um you know, that's, that's where I would go. So if you're in that budget range, if you have a kid that's, you know, 11, 12 years old, maybe 10, a big 10 year old, you know, a 25 inch riser is doable. It is doable in bare bow, probably small to medium limbs. Um, but that's where you want to, that's, that's your option. Do you do you, um, I don't necessarily, again, I don't necessarily go off of the, the, the recommended specs from Olympic recurve because, I've done this enough now that I just kind of run with it. Like I, I can tell if a kid is strong and they have a really good full draw position, I know what they're going to be able to get away with and what they're not. Um, is there, I know it'd be so much easier to just have a list. Um, you know, maybe that's worth looking into or putting together, but people are always going to fall outside of the recommendation put on a list. So, you know, you just have to learn to, you need to learn. You need to learn as a coach what, you know, you need to get that experience and be able to say, if, hey, this nine-year-old is the size of a 12-year-old and, you know, maybe the crescent with small limbs works. Um, and you're, you know, you're looking at a 62-inch, 66-inch um, ILF bow, 66-inch ILF bow, whatever. Um, the, you know, whatever that works out to be. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't have that off the top of my head. Um, so it's a good option. Um, so yeah, next one, the galaxy torch. I am very, very partial to this bow. Um, when I started bare bow, this is the, the riser that I started with. Um, started with a bunch of stacked weights. I had, um, galaxy gold limbs, which we'll go over limbs here in a minute. And, you know, this bow vibrated, but it did the job. My, I was six months in the bow and I shot a 529, 526 um, indoor after six months. This bow, with this bow, you can do it. I was shooting like mini drive-by shots. It was tuned with, you know, Olympic recurve tune. It was just it works it does the job without a doubt it does the job you have two um screws that you can put two weights on if you'd like i did that i had a yoast weight in the top i don't even know if i had a yoast weight then i don't think i did i just had like stacked weights on there or something um without the, any rubber or anything they were just screwed on and i had some random old compound weight that i had laying around on here Oh no, I had, I know what I had. Yeah, I had dead center, but the four inch or like the big disc, they were just all screwed on. It was, it was, he needed it heavy just to get the vibration to, to not be so bad. Um, and I put uh, the other thing that I did with this bow because 
I didn't have a custom grip on it. On here, I would put skateboard tape. That was more of a pre-curve thing, but um, still to this day, I love that skateboard tape. But for 149 bucks, I mean, again, limited options for color, temporary out of stock, you can still order it. I don't know what the wait time is to get these things, but they are definitely, this is definitely a solid option for a new adult, for a larger, you know, I'd say 11, 12 and older um, shooter. And, you know, for a kid, you know, 12, 13 years old, 14 years old, um, you know, medium limbs are fine. Um, if you have like an adult size young person, um, don't be afraid of those long limbs because then you don't have to make that purchase down the road. And really there's just not any negative effects in my personal opinion to just buying long limbs for a adult size young person. So, you know, you, you do you, you do what you want, but, um, you know, I, I personally would, would not hesitate for a second to put long limbs on this for a kid that's, you know, five foot five and, and, you know, 25, 26, 27 inch draw length. Um, again, bare bow, we can get along with a little bit of a, of a longer bow than you will on the recurve. So now we're going to talk about limbs. Um, I'm sorry. No, we're not. We are not. We're going to talk about WNS. I... I'm a huge fan of um, I am a huge fan of the WNS risers. Um, the Motive 23, the Explore 25, um, the Explore 21, um, all, all of these, especially for kids. So the young lady I told you that started with the um, uh, bullseye, the 48 inch bullseye, she went from that 48 inch bullseye to this WNS Explorer 21 inch recurve riser. She's like 10 years old now um, and she shoots an ILF. She uses ga the Galaxy Limbs, which we'll go over next. This is a viable option people this is a viable option for a, a, a tiny shooter right out of the gate with small limbs 100 percent is but you know it's a it's an investment thing now this riser is only 99 bucks so for less than 200 bucks you could be in minus plunger and it's like a holy super rest or whatever that you put on as a as a, a stick on rest you know it's a viable option. I love this little bow, the 21 and the 23. Again, hard to get. Um, I bet you, let me see if they even have any in stock. Um, I do know that they, Trad Tech now has a version of one of these, or maybe it's the Galaxy right hand. They do have some right hand. Look at this, they got blue in stock. How about that? So they happen to have one in stock. This is a great little bare bell riser. You put a weight on the front. Um, you know, you have your ILF adjustment, you have your dual plunger, you can do, or your dual burger holes. I'm sorry. One for a plunger, one for a, a bolt on rest, you know, and we'll, I'll go, I'm going to make separate videos or vlogs going over that stuff. Um, but this, you know, I, this is just one of my favorites. It, it really is. It's, it does the job. Um, and you know, the 25 inch riser, um, let's see here, Delta, what's that? Here it is, the WNS Motive. Um, if those of you that know who, who Maggie is that I coach, this is what she started with. She's, and she's, she's an adult size young lady. So she's able to um, handle this riser with medium limbs, no problem whatsoever. Um, she may even be on the verge of going to lungs with her next set of limbs. Um, just because like, I personally feel it's a little bit of a smoother shot, a little bit more forgiveness. It's easier on the string walking. Um, I'll take that longer, that longer bow, if that shooter can handle it at, at any time. Um, that bottom finger really can get some funky tension on it when you're shooting a short bow. So the longer that bow is, less that tension, the more comfortably are at full draw. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I coach a lot of bare bow, so I, you know, that's, it's just that's my approach to things. I'm not telling you that this is gospel and that's what you need to do. You need to do what works for you. I'm telling you that this is what has worked for me um, and the shooters that I've worked with. 
um, both that young lady who shoots this 21 inch is a national champion. And so is, so is Maggie. I can give you, I can tell you both of what they are shooting and how they shoot. It works for them. Um, so this is your high end of the low end equipment. All right. This is that upper tier of when you're starting out, this is where I would be, I, I would point you to. Um, you can get custom grips for some of these um, through uh, Yager Archie products. Um, and, you know, I'll be honest with you, the WNS comes with some really nice rubber grips. I think that's, a, I think they're rubber. It's their composite, I don't know, but they're, they're pretty decent. I have to admit they're nice. Um, Maggie swin since switched to a middle of the road, low high end um, riser, and it's the Hoyt Arcos, which is the predecessor to, um, I'm thinking, Alero maybe? I have to double check that. Um, and she had an immediate improvement in her scores. The bow handles so much better than this WNS did. Um, with the weight on it, so on and so forth. You might be able to hear my dog snoring in the background. I'm sorry if you can. Both of my, my dogs, my supervisors are here behind me and they are uh, just snoring away. Um, so, all right. Last but not least, limbs. Low end limbs. Um, I will tell you this. I am a huge fan of Galaxy. Um, Galaxy Black Star is the newest one to hit the line. It's $200. They have them marked down to $179 right now. These are the high end Galaxy Limb. Um, $200 bucks isn't too bad. Uh, before these came out, I was buying the WNS. Um, and like, actually, they were in that last page, I think. Yeah, uh, not those WNS. They're they're up there. The the Hoyt the Integras are are nice as well. Let me. Those are really nice limb. Um, hard to come by though. Um, they've been on sale for a while. The WNS. I'm not seeing it. So let me look up. One second. I want to look up Galaxy limbs. If you're buying for a kid, in my opinion, look at the Galaxy limbs right away. Um, it, they just because cost wise, they do the job. The Aspire limb fits that meteor, I think. Um, here's the Bronze Star limb, 89 bucks. The Silver limb, 119. Um, the Gold Star, which is what I used when I first started, 249. And then there's that Black Star, what's 199 um or 200 is the the, the map on that actually I, I guess they're not up the high end i thought they were so the gold star is still the high end um that's a great limb that limb does the job it's it's decent it's it really is i mean it it doesn't draw like a trad tech it doesn't draw like a nuka it doesn't draw like a uh um a velos but you know again i shot mid to high 520s with this limb and, you know, it, it without a doubt does the job. So, you know, it, again, you need to structure how your purchases are going to be and what's going to benefit you. And now it was the longs that I pulled up there, but you need to structure that how you are going to what makes sense. You know, I'm a huge proponent of buy the biter plunger, buy the Yoast tab right off the bat. And I'll probably repeat this as I record the separate blogs that talk about all of this equipment. Um, but you know, in my, in my opinion, the things that are going to stick with you all the way through, no matter what bow you have buy the high end stuff early on, if you're like serious about this and besides you can resell that stuff at any point in time, the Yoast tab, the Yoast weight and the biter plunger, maybe even if you're buying like a bigger LAZT, I'm a personal fan of the AAE free flight, um, the AAE gold XL gold plunger, the longer one, you know, buy that good stuff early on because it will stick with you for a very, very long time. Don't buy double. I mean, if you want to, 
And again, budget is what it is, but that's the stuff I'm spending money on early on because that stuff's going to stick with you. You may end up replacing the rise or you may end up replacing the limbs. So you know, there's no need to go like first riser out of the gate is a 25 inch exceed with small, with small cartel or WNS or galaxy limbs. That makes no sense. It's like putting hubcaps on a BMW. Um, let's, let's not do that. You do you. <laughs> I've seen crazier things, but um, you know, it, it is what it is. These WNS limbs are great. I've used these on multiple shooters. Um, they do the job. They're kind of like a, an equivalent to the Galaxy, in my opinion. Um, again, it, based on availability, buy what you buy. They come in small, medium, and long. Um, and then obviously, strings are strings. You can get strings anywhere. You know, you can get them on Lancaster. You can order them special. You can you can do what you want to do. Um, but you know, these, these limbs all will do the job. I have had success with all of these. I think they're a great option and they get you started with your first ILF barebow setup. Um, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors, um, for all of their support, obviously our friends at, well, Hey, I bet you we can look it up. Yoast Archery. And let's see what else we got going on here. There they are. Look at that beauty right there. Ooh. All the weights, the youth tab, the pro tab. They're all, that's all such good stuff. Three under, yeah, three under predator and then the three under pro tab. Uh, you want those brass ones. You call Eric Yoast directly and get them from him. We have AAE. Plunger. I'm going to look up Plunger because that's definitely my favorite. Look at all those procs that shows up by AAE. You got to love it. You got your arm guards and all that good stuff. You have the Master Plunger, which is your low end version, and Master Lock, a Long Master. Oh, there's more. Look at all that. Look at all these, all this stuff. It's not all barebow stuff, but. I do love their plungers. I, I, I was specifically the gold plunger, um, the gold premier plunger, for sure. But you can get just about, well, I mean, I guess it would help if I spelled plunger, right? Um, you can get whatever plunger floats your boat. There's the micro plunger, a gold micro, gold micro. It's such a great plunger. You can get them. We got the longer barrel ones. They're definitely available. But you'll, uh, if you can thank me later. And then obviously the free flight. That bad boy shows up. Where did it go? Well, that's not it. That's a compound rest. I don't see it. it. Must be, maybe it's back here in these other, uh, these other tabs. Let's see. We're just going to go here. View 96. Let's do that. I probably missed it. Look at all this compound stuff. These things are so old. My goodness. Okay, there's the champion, too. That's a great starter rest for somebody starting out in Barebow. It really is. It does the job. Um, not that you're. This isn't a compound podcast, but I, that's a, such a great compound rest. There's my favorite plunger. All this goodies, tabs, rests. Another pro blade. Free flight. There's the other free flight. There it is. Oh, that's a left-handed one. But that's that's the one right there. Look at that bad boy. I definitely definitely like this rest. It just built so well. Look at that. You gotta love it. Um, Yager archery. Yes. Yager makes the trad tech grips too. Look at all those bad boys. They also make the JD three. I don't know who that guy is. Um. 
they make the Brady Ellison and a little birdie told me they're making a KC Caulfield grip as well. So check them out and then excess wings. Again, you listen, I love Lancaster archery. They do not sponsor our podcast. It's just, it's easy for me to go through one spot and be like, boom, these are buy this, but buy from these people direct. It helps them. They're business owners. You can buy from them direct. It just helps them. Um, that's my disclaimer. I love Lancaster Archery. I am a shop owner. I order a bulk of everything that I get through them. Um, and the reason I do that is because it's convenient and it's easy and I'm able to go if I need something, it's shipped really quick, providing they have it in stock. Otherwise, I'm order it direct. I buy direct from Ben from Excess Wings, buy direct from, um, from Eric Yost all the time um, and Paul. So uh, for Yager Archery Grip. So, you know, you, you do you, um, but the stuff's always available and they, they have it. So obviously they have it in the pro shop, but yeah, God, I, I love these things. I'll never shoot another fletching. Um, you know, I, I may mess around with the AE trad veins for, for hunting a little bit this year though, um, because I've been using feathers up to this point. So guys, Carter, that message is for you all right guys i'm gonna stop share here thanks for you know entertaining my rambling for a little while and um i look for like a part two part three whatever of the that middle grade equipment stuff um and then that higher end we'll probably do with some collaboration with some other people so i'm um, gonna do like a rest you know, we're going to review some rests. We're going to review some plungers and, and stuff like that. So, all right, peace.